have a shot and edit a photo and then you thought, ah, oh, damn, I wish it would be in 4x5 instead of 9x16 or something else and you just want that perfect Instagram crop but you don't really want to crop anything out of what you have in your photo already or maybe it's some other instance where you just would like to have what you have in your image already and not crop it away. Well, here's a way of how you can extend your photos inside of Photoshop without losing any of the detail you have already by having Photoshop help you fill out the content that's missing in the places where the crop would usually be. So let me show you how it works. All right, so we're just starting inside Lightroom and that's to keep this as our library. I'll usually export anything from in here. So to get it into Photoshop, we just hit Command E or something similar on Windows. And now this is a photo that I removed two subjects from, from a previous tutorial. So I'll just edit a copy. And that means that we get a fresh photo inside of Photoshop in just a second. Okay, here we are with a fresh photo. So what we want to do is that this is definitely way taller than a four by five that we want to do that crop for Instagram. But now I don't want to lose anything in this image. And now you could argue that in this particular image, it doesn't really make any difference because we had just have black down here and it is white sky up here. But for the sake of the tutorial, that's just gonna, what we are going to use. So let's hit C for crop or use crop over here. And I already have it set to 4x5 because I used it before, but you can choose 4x5 inside of your preset here, or you can just hit 4x5 in here. That's the different way to do it. And what we wanna do is we wanna hit this expand up here and then hold down shift to make sure that it doesn't skew up. And we just wanna place it on the top up here, which sometimes can be slightly difficult to hit like this. And we wanna do the same thing for the bottom. Now, what you can see here, if you hit enter, is that now we have our photo placed and we actually failed a little bit in the bottom, but that doesn't matter with that we can fix as well. So first, what I wanna do is I want to duplicate the layer just to make sure that we have a new layer to work on and we don't change anything here. What you wanna do is hit M or choose the select option up here. And then you just highlight a little bit into the image on the right side, uh, on the left side, sorry. And then you hit right click and content aware fill. And then Photoshop itself figures out how to kind of expand it out here. It didn't do a perfect job, but it looks all right. It goes uphill and I think it did a pretty good job with the clouds as well. We can fix that afterwards. So let's just hit okay. It made a new layer. So we have to click on our first layer again. And then we can do the same thing over here. So we just hit right click and hit Content Web Fill and it will figure out what to do. Maybe I should say this doesn't necessarily work for all photos, but it works for most. And you can always adjust it a little bit afterwards, but if it should select something that you didn't want, let's say this man shouldn't be part of the evaluation, all the green is what it takes into consideration. Now it works again and made a new one. It didn't make a big difference because it didn't really use this guy but just to say that that's the way that you can do it so let's hit okay and now you can see on the bottom we actually have the same thing but we can crop in a little bit again just to make sure that we have that perfect all right so what you can see now is that we actually have a pretty good image and if we just highlight all of these click on the first one hold down shift we can uh, duplicate them sorry command j and right click and merge. And just call this new crop. There we go. And now we actually have our photo. Now, if you want to change something, maybe we could do use the healing brush by going into J or clicking up here, spot healing brush. Sometimes it works if you just do like this, highlight what it didn't really work out that well didn't help a lot because now it's just decided that this bench up here is what it want to use. You can do that a couple of times and it will recompute. Just try to do something different. Now I'm clicking around a little bit. Doesn't do a very good job to be honest right now. Um, maybe zoom in a little bit and try to help it understand that that's not what we are looking for, for it to do. It keeps messing it up basically copying what's up here so sometimes it just doesn't 
do what we want it to. We can try with a smaller brush just to tell it it's only this area that I don't like. This area again and again. That does help us a little bit here. And let's see. Yeah, so that's a way to go about it. Sometimes you just have to make the brush a bit smaller, zoom in a little bit more. I'm just clicking around a little bit to make it a little bit more randomized. And there you go. Now that looks a lot better than it did before. The same thing we could do over here up the hill. It does look a little bit too much like it just copied this part. So let's see what it does if we try to have it recompute. And now I just made it straight, which is for this example, okay. Now I did that. I think that actually looks a lot better just having it recompute again. I think this looks all right. Now up here, it doesn't necessarily look perfect. So as I showed you in a previous tutorial, you can hit the healing brush tool up here, maybe make it a little bit larger, use this as the area, and then you can kind of just, oh, sorry, it was set to replace, go back to normal, just kind of brush in some of these areas that look a little bit different, like this, and that does help us just a little bit to make it look, that didn't help, to look it more realistic. So actually I think that's pretty good. You can barely see that it was actually another photo before. So this is the before and this is the after. I think it did a pretty good job. Now, the more details you have out here, the more difficult it sometimes is. Another way to expand it is if we have this one and click Command J, could be to just highlight this part in here, let's say this one, and hit Command T, and then we can just stretch it out a little bit. Sometimes that works too and looks okay. And let's try it over here as well. I'm a bit worried that this side won't look as good. Let's try Command T, and let's just try and stretch it out. Doesn't look as good necessary but then again we could go into the healing brush click shift j a few times to get back and do it like this and now it just messes up everything as we saw it did earlier but you get the point we can just don't use the bench please it just does not want to not use the bench does it no, I'm just getting annoyed. Let's just see if we can get it to. There we go. A lot better. And sometimes I'll just click a few times until I make it understand what it is it's supposed to do. And now you might think that this looks odd because you knew what it looked like before. But I mean, no one would notice that this is stretched or anything. Just don't stretch it too wide. But to be honest, I think this looks pretty good. This is what we did with the first option and this is the second option. So you can decide whatever you think looks best. And this one was when we actually did a little bit of work with the clouds too. So we could do the same thing here. Just very quickly show you. Go into the healing brush here. Uh, yeah, it's a fine size. Hit option and then just paint over here paint a bit over here and like this and now you can't really see that there's a big difference between them maybe do the same thing over here like this just brushing a little bit around just to make it sh look like it's a little bit better and to be honest now i don't think there's a lot of difference between the two you can see that one is a little bit stretched but it's up to you to decide which one you like the more this is two ways to easily just extend your photo. You can extend it upwards as well. doesn't matter, but this is an easy way to do it. So I hope that helped you maybe to get all of what you shot into your photo when you use it for Instagram or wherever you want to post it. But that's at least the way to do it. So I hope it helped and thank you so much for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one.